Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have a very special video today doing something a little bit different because we have an unboxing video of Series 5 of the Japanese Animal Crossing New Horizons gummy cards. I can't even fit them all in the camera here. We've got three booster boxes, well two booster boxes and one that doesn't have the box for some reason but they have sent all 20 packets. So each box contains 20 packets. And we also have some awesome items courtesy of Vault X, which I'll talk more about later. That will be going to one of you. So you can see just how big these are in the box. I literally can't get them in the frame. We have 20 booster packs in each box. And it just gives you an idea of what we can expect. Each booster pack has one card, I believe, um, and one tray of gummy candy or gummy sweets, which is really cool. This is the fifth series, but it's kind of the final series, I believe, called the Collector's Set, if I'm not mistaken. And basically, some of these are repeats from the first four series, but there are some new cards as well, um, as you can see, based on the new villages and things like that. But we'll talk more about these cards as we get into them. That was fun. Okay, I think to start with, I'm just gonna open them all up and cut the tops of the booster packs off, and then we will reveal the cards inside. And hopefully we don't cut the cards. Actually, I found it easier just to open them up like a bag of crisps, uh, so I think we're just gonna open them up like this, actually. It's taking a little too long with the pair of scissors. Now, inside of these booster packs, hopefully you can hear my voice over me opening them, you have 32 cards to collect in total. 21 of them are picture cards and villagers like you would see on the front of the booster pack. There are five scene cards, which are kind of the same as the promo images. You can actually see one uh, just on the bottom there. I think that is a sync, what's called a scene card or an information card. And we have six special message cards as well. And some of these cards are brand new and have never been printed before. And I think this is the last time these will be printed. So they came out actually on Christmas Day in Japan. Whew, that's 20 booster packs open. Uh, before we go any further, just gonna explain a little bit about Vault X. Now Vault X are my go-to collector's card storage, basically. They do amazing folders, amazing um, sleeves for cards. And they're not sponsoring this video, but I did reach out to them to see if they would like to help with a giveaway. So we've got a bunch of exact fit card sleeves to put the cards in. They've also given us a Vault X strap binder. This is really cool. These are the ones that I use as well. And also we have a zip binder as well, which is really cool. So if you want to get your hands on some duplicate cards and a Vault X binder, courtesy of Vault X, follow me on X or Twitter um, and also subscribe on YouTube and we'll we'll go over the giveaway details towards the end of the video. So let's go into the first booster pack. Moment of truth. Here are the gummies. We've got, oh, I can see it's Marshall already. We've got two gummies there. We've got a, is that an apple and some cherries? But more importantly, this is the card we have. Don't know how the best way to show this in the video there, but that is Marshall. You can see on top of the card, we have kind of a gold stamp, which is really cool. It's a... Uh, I don't know what the opposite of embossed is, but it's kind of like, it's indented and it's super shiny and that's really cool. So here is the exact fit sleeve, courtesy of Voltex. Thank you so much to Voltex for supplying these items so I can give them away to you. So there is our first card, Marshall, what a pull. That is really awesome. I think that's Marshall's birthday on there as well. So that's really awesome. So there we go, one card down, 31 cards to go. Next up, we have Fauna. So there we go, fully sleeved. We'll probably get through these a little bit quicker as we go, but it's just nice to have a look at the cards as we first start to pull them. So there you can see the sh how shiny the stamp is again. It is, of course, in the, in the sleeve now, um, but that looks great. Oh, by the way, we probably should look at the backs of them as well. So you can see this is number S10. That will make much more sense when we see more of the cards. But we have some information on Fauna. I think hobbies, birthday, things like that. So there we go. That is Fauna. Let's go on to the next one. Next up we have, oh, we have a picture card. There's so many candies. <laughs> so we have a scene card. As you can tell, this is one of the promotional images of Nook in the in the, in the the early, is it the resident services? Um, at one of the craft benches there. So there we go. And on the back, we just have some information about the DIY. This is number S22. So we'll be able to put them in order, hopefully when we've got the rest of the cards opened up there. So our first picture card, awesome. Better not forget to sleeve it. 
So I'm pretty new at unboxing things. I've never been very good at um, talking and opening and explaining and showing off everything we have. But hopefully this will give you a good idea of what these sets entail. We have, is that Francine I think? We have, that is Francine isn't it? There we go, beautiful card. And on the back, in case you're interested, S3. And more facts about Francine. There we go, we'll get that sleeved up as well. There we go. So this is how things are looking already. Got three cards and a picture card. Next up, we have, oh, we've got a fossil candy and a bell bag candy. I didn't realize there was different types of candy. I thought it was just fruit. Um, if anyone <laughs> wants candy, I've got plenty. Here we go, we have a, one of the rarer cards, I believe. This is, you, you'll notice the promotional images, you'll recognize this. This is the autumn promotional image for New Horizons. This is one of the special message cards, because it's technically a letter, so you could write something on here. Um, I think that's one of the autumn stationary mail papers as well. And then we've got some shiny edging as well. So that's one of the rarer cards. There, mu there must be six of those, I think. Four seasons and two others. There we go. Yeah, I ripped this one. <laughs> we've got some more fruit, peach and orange this time. I don't know if they have different flavors or what. Oh, we have a squirrel. What's this squirrel's name? Um, oh, I can't remember. Is it, it's not peanut, it's poppy, I think. Is it poppy? It could be poppy. Um, there we go. So you, you'll also notice the fruits and flowers and the renders of the houses in the background are different. I don't think the rendered houses are actually the villagers' houses, but it is a rendered house from New Horizons nevertheless. And here's the back of the card there, S20. Lovely. So moving on now, we're just going to keep going through these. I did open them, obviously, all like a packet of crisps, apart from the first two, which I cut. Ah, oh, I can't get this one out. And we have so oranges and peaches. We don't really care for the candy. I'm not even sure it's still good from Christmas. It probably is. Um, oh, we have a cub. Pe Pico, I think. Some more facts there. Number S8. Awesome. So far, no duplicates, which is really good. There's only 20 in each box. So we'll get this one sleeved. Only 20 in each box, which means hopefully we won't get any duplicates in the first box. But as we go through the next one, there's going to be duplicates because... Well, there's 32 cards to collect, so hopefully there's none in the first box, otherwise that will be very unlucky. Okay, more fruits. Does anyone care about the gummies? I, <laughs> I don't think it matters, they are random, but we have Apollo! There we go, Apollo who lives, of course, in our city folk town over on the Mori Plays, our Let's Play channel. He has lived there for over a year now, and he is still rocking the same outfit pretty much in our town, if he's not wearing a random design from Able Sisters. Anyway, S21! There we go, some, anyone can read Japanese? Um, I would love to know exactly what these are. I'm pretty sure there's hobbies, catchphrases, um, a little bit of a bio info about each villager there. And I think it's a, probably a letter or something like that. But it's just cool to see the artwork. I love seeing the artwork of these. Right, let's get this one sleeved. There we go. I can only apologize if this isn't the best unboxing experience, but it's a huge learning curve for me. We've got some new candy. We've got a, a pear and a leaf again. And this one, oh no! Our first duplicate in the first box. That is not a good sign, but it's a good sign because all of these will be going to you. So I suppose it doesn't matter if we get multiple duplicates, but there we go, another, I think that's Poppy. There we go. And we're just gonna slowly work our way through ugh, these. A uh, fossil and a bell bag. And we've got another pitcher. There we go. If I just get a better view of that there, we've got Peanut. <laughs> That's definitely Peanut, isn't it? So another promotional image from the early New Horizons days of someone laying a path there. You can just see um, the character laying the path using the construction tool there. And we've got the New Horizons Japanese logo. And on the back, this is pretty cool. We've got KK and Isabel, and just some info there, um, just generally about New Horizons, I believe, and about the construction application. Perfect. So we've opened about half of the first box now. Maybe, I don't know if we should do all these in one video. Hopefully it's not too noisy. On this one, we've got Fossils and Bell Candy. And we have uh, Fang, I think. I've got a list of the villagers here, actually. Yeah, that's got to be Fang. I think, yep, yeah, the only wolf. Fang is the only wolf in this collection, I believe. And on the back here, again, as you'd expect, pretty sure it's a birthday, 18th of December. And I love the little artworks. We've got the balloon, we've got some villagers, a lighthouse, 
and just some kind of silhouettes from New Horizons there. Perfect. Okay, not many more to go actually. We've got about seven or eight to go. The candies are definitely uh, random. And this one, oh no, we got Marshall again. I don't mind. I don't mind getting two because this might give us a chance to look at the back of Marshall's card though, because we didn't have a look at Marshall the first time around, did we? S18 for Marshall. Get him sleeved. We've got Sasha. There we go. And bra another brand new one. This is a brand new card. So some of these, like Apollo, has a fe has featured in previous series. I can't remember exactly which series, but he has featured in the Gummy Card series before. But now we have one of the new cards, Sasha there, which is really, really cool. Let's have a look at the back. He's looking awesome. There we go. That must be their birthday there. A little bit about their hobby and bio there. Awesome. S number five. It'll be fun putting these in order when we put the binder. We'll put them in the binder at the end, I think. There we go. Fully sleeved. And yeah, we'll probably do it box by box. Put it in the binder and see how much of this set we actually got out of the first box. I think that would be interesting to see. Here we've got the next one. We've got a pear and leaf again. Starting to get a lot of the uh, leaf candies. We've got fauna again. No. Why did they make it so impossible to get the full set from these boxes? There we go. So yeah, if you like this video a lot, please let me know. Maybe we can unbox the Lego sets, maybe. Next up, we've, I've got to remember to open this on the actual camera. There we go. We've got a pear and leaf. And we've got another one. This is the spring. This is very fitting. This is the spring promotional artwork for New Horizons, of course. Very shiny. Look how shiny that is. You can see my window. And we've got the uh, kind of the gold around the edge there, which is really nice. It just makes it a nice trading card rather than just like a printed image. Uh, gives it some more kind of collectability, I guess. And you notice the little triangles of grass in between each flower. Super cute. So this is the spring card. We have the dandelion um, flower and the little butterfly on the stationery there as well. So you could use this if you wanted to send someone a little note or something. Or of course you could do what we're going to do and put it in a sleeve. Okay, four to go. More candy. And we have another picture. I don't know if these are called information. No, these are called special message cards. There we go. Uh, some flowers and leaves around the edge there as well. And this is the summer one. I remember when this image first leaked and everyone was going crazy wondering what was in the background. Um, but now you can see it quite clearly on this card is a sandcastle on the beach with some mountains and islands in the background there. But that is the summer special message card. And we've got a cloud there with a little ship which is kind of cool. So we'll get that sleeved up as well. Three to go. We've got, I can see it's new already. We've got Hamlet the Hamster. I hope I'm getting these names right. It's going to be really embarrassing for an Animal Crossing channel to get so many names wrong if I have. But there we go. We can see multiple fruit trees in the back. And there's even some trees on the cliffs there. Even though we can't actually see any cliffs under the trees, but the trees are floating in the air. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Yeah, they're definitely like floating in the air. Anyway, this is the back of Hamlet's card. So I think the S must be, it's not a five, it's the special collection. So you've got series one, two, three, four, and then this is the final special collection with extra cards. So I think that's what the S stands for there. There we go, information about Hamlet. So we'll get that one sleeved up as well. Boop. Okay, second from last in this booster box, we've got fossils and bell bags and we've got bunny there we go we've got a rabbit we don't have bunny yet i don't believe so there we go and the back of bunny s2 so that must mean it's the second card in the collection so we'll go and place two in the binder there we go perfect keep it all protected lovely and the final booster pack from this booster box so we've opened 20 packs so far and we have peaches and leaf candy. And we have stitches. We haven't had stitches yet. I'm just trying to glance over here. It's looking a bit messy, to be honest. We'll sort them out in a second. Uh, but we've got stitches, which is really cool. Stitches has a nice house. That's a player's house. That's definitely not Stitches' house. Um, and on the back, again, we just have some information. S number nine. Excellent. There we go. We definitely want to get stitches all sleeved up and nicely protected okay so it's looking pretty messy right about now but i think the best thing to do rather than try and put them in order is go ahead and stick them in one of these binders courtesy of voltex thank you once again voltex for sending out these 
um, items so I can do a giveaway to the viewers. There we go. So we're going to get some of these cards in the binder and we'll see how much of the first booster box we were able to complete in the binder. So we'll come back in just a second. So we have the cards in the binder now. We only had three duplicates and apparently we were shortchanged a booster pack because we only have 19 cards in total. But on the first page out of the first nine cards, we have six. So we're only missing three, which isn't too bad. On the next page, we're missing quite a lot there, but we do have three on that page five on this page so you can see the order that they go in fauna's up there and then we go through all of the players until we get to the scene cards that show information about the features of new horizons and the pictures there and then we go on to these special letter cards we have two of them up there and i've just put a booster pack in here as well you can see these binders why they're so good they're very tight fitting and they're side loading as well so you can just sleeve your card and slide it in so they're not going to escape from the binder there but this is where the last card will go in the center there and I've just added a booster pack so pretty good we've got 19 cards 16 out of the 32 so out of a booster box we actually got half the set that we needed so we might be on track for getting a full two full sets we'll have to wait and see so I guess we'll jump into the next box now there we go oh I did them upside down Okay, so again, these are the same booster packs, just a different booster box. They came loose rather than in the box, but there is 20 packs here. So I'm going to go ahead and open them all first. And we'll just repeat the process of opening each one as we go. We'll be a bit quicker with these ones. You don't want to see the candies all again. We're only interested in the cards and whether we can complete the actual set. Have to be careful not to bend the cards while I'm opening them. Make sure if you do this at home, make sure the candy and the card is all the way to the bottom before you open it up like a packet of crisps. Otherwise, you can bend the card. If you're wondering where you can get these from, you can get them from pretty much any online store that sells Japanese trading cards or action figures, comics, that sort of thing. You can import them yourself as well from Amazon, uh, Japanese Amazon, and also places like Bai who do like proxy shipping. But that can get expensive with the likes of import tax. So if you can find a store, like an anime store or anything like that that sells the typical action figures and video game merchandise, they'll probably have them listed. If I can find some, I'll stick some links in the in the comments. There we go. Four more to go. Has anyone been counting? Maybe we've got 21 packets in this batch. There we go. All open. So let's get started. Hopefully we can remember what we've already got. And we have, oh, we have a new one. No, we don't. We have the summer card again, which is good. So I think at this point we're aiming for two full sets. When we start getting double duplicates or triplets, I guess, that's when we're going to want to worry. Number two, we have a new one. The winter card. So we definitely need this one. That looks so good. I don't miss winter. It's only been a few days, but I might in about a month's time miss the snow because I do love walking around the snow in Animal Crossing. But you can just see a really nice cozy scene. I've just noticed Isabel is actually in this picture as well, which is really nice. And they're building a snowman. That's so cool. There we go. And the back of this is, of course, a winter letter with a snowman icon as well. S30. So that's not the last card. So the last card is number 32. But we'll put these in the binder at the end. Number three. I'm probably going to lose count before we get to the end. We've got Fauna again. I think with the duplicates, we'll, uh, we'll get through these pretty quickly. Four. Another duplicate. Actually going to be pretty disappointed if we don't complete a set here. Out of three booster boxes. But I think we will. There we go, we've got Bunny again. Boop. So we're looking for some of the first ones. Oh, we've got Goldie, who may be, what's that? Goldie is number one. Yes, I thought Goldie might be number one. Number S1, there we go. So this is the collection series number one card, Goldie. Looking absolutely super cute there with some tulips as well, which is really nice. So that's the number one, so that's a new card. So that's really awesome. So yeah, I know I've already said it, but if you do enjoy the unboxing aspect of this video, obviously I've got areas to improve. Whoops. Oh, there we go. Couldn't get the candy out. <laughs> um, but if you did like it, please let me know. And we have, oh, we've got the path construction path 
card again with Peanut. Looking super cute. Can't remember the bear's name. Does anybody remember? But yeah, if you like the aspect of this unboxing, please let me know. And maybe we could do some more in the future. Or maybe even some Amiibo unboxing. Or maybe even some classic Animal Crossing cards. If that's something that would interest you. Right, we've, oh, we've got Stitches again. Anybody's favorite villager Stitches? We have a spare card. There we go, get Stitches all protected in a sleeve. Number nine, we've got Fang again. Number 10, we have a new card. This is one of the, definitely one of the new ones, I'm pretty sure, because it's got Lottie in. So the, some of the first series came out before Happy Home Paradise. And this is why this is definitely one of the new cards here. We've got the Happy Home Paradise logo or pattern there um, indented in the card. I can't remember the term, but it's all shiny and looks good. And we've got some of the Happy Home Paradise images and furniture there. Just looks super cute seeing Lottie on a trading card in all honesty. And then of course we have the New Horizons logo with the Happy Home Paradise kind of subtitle as well. And on the back, this is one of these special letters. So it kind of goes with the, um, if I could just grab one here. It's technically, I guess, part of this set, the seasons, because it's part of the special letter set because we have kind of some stationery on the back there. So there we go, we have Dodo Airlines ticket. That is so cool. A Dodo Airlines ticket number S32. So this is the last card that will go in our binder. That's so good. Let's get this sleeved. There we go. Wouldn't mind getting a duplicate of this one. That's really cool. You should see the pile <laughs> of candy I've got on the floor right now. Well, I've lost count again, but I think we're on like 12. Or 13. Sometimes this candy gets stuck. We've got Pico again. There we go. Lots of duplicates. And we've got... Oh, yes! We've got another Happy Home Paradise one, isn't it? It hasn't got the Happy Home Paradise logo on it, but it's definitely one of the newer promotional artworks there of a villager carrying a um, little terrarium thing. And the Apple TV item, one of my favorite items. That is so cool. There we go. And the back of this, oh, it's one of the information cards. There we go. So it's probably talking about the decorating and that there. So similar to the crafting card, we've got some decoration card there. So that's new. That is S4, S24, by the way. For anyone keeping count. Okay, we're getting through them. This might be a longer video than I anticipated here. So what do we got? We've got another, wow, this is our first triple, I think. The path card. There we go. So we've only got seven left. So this must be 13. If I can get it out of the packet. Oh, I didn't open these ones very well. There we go. <laughs> we got through and it's Apollo. No wonder it's a little tough to get out. I don't think Apollo wanted to leave. There we go. Oh, that one came out better. And we've got Dom, another new one. We haven't had Dom yet, I'm pretty sure. So as you can see, the usual things there. I don't think that's Dom's house. I think they probably just put random houses on these cards. Would have been cool if they did put the villagers' homes on there, but I might be wrong. That might be Dom's house. And there we go, some information about Dom, number S16. So if anyone collects Animal Crossing cards in any form, whether they're e-reader cards, amiibo cards, gummy cards, let me know. I'd love to know. We've got another season one here, which is technically a letter one. Um, that is the spring, which is really good. It's nice to get those ones. I'm pretty sure those are technically class as rarer, these ones. Um, I don't know why. I guess the villagers are slightly more common in the booster packs. Um, but we are, we're doing well with these ones. And we've got Judy. Have we had Judy yet? What number's Judy? Seven. I don't think we've got Judy. Judy's a new one. Yay! There we go. Judy looking pretty cool. And, of course, the information on the back. Four left now. Oh, I took the, <laughs> the candy came out, but the card didn't. Let's see if we can get the card out. There we go. Oh, we've got another new one. One of the promotional images. We've got Hamlet. He stars in this series twice. He's on one. He's got his own card. But there we go. The vaulting pole. One of the early promo, Im promo images from New Horizons. The early days. Seems like a lifetime ago now. Um, but we all got excited when we first saw this promo art. But there we go. Got a fossil and a rock in there as well. And a fish. Quite a lot of detail here, actually. For a little promo image. And this is obviously a new one we need for our binder. So this is S23. And we've got Blathers on the back, talking a bit about probably just the island life. The vaulting pole, getting fossils and things like that. So that's really awesome. There we go, get that sleeved. This should be pack 18, I believe. I have lost count though. There is Hamlet. 
<laughs> After starring in this one, which we saw just a second ago, he appears twice in this series, which is cool. Um, we've got Hamlet there on the back, S15. I can't remember if we pulled Hamlet already. Um, it's getting to the point where I've lost track of the cards we've pulled, but we will double check as we put them in the binders at the end of the video. There we go. Second from last. We have the Autumn again. I think we might be approaching a complete set, by the way. That's good news. There we go. So that is the Autumn one. And Blathers features on that one. It's a shame Blathers never never comes out of the museum, isn't it? But there we go. I've never noticed on these artworks, actually, that the special characters do feature on them. There we go. And the final pack of the second booster box out of three. Hopefully we don't have to buy a fourth. We have... Ooh! Forgotten the name. Um, Flurry. There we go. Flurry. Of course it is. There we go. Little hamster there. Flurry the hamster. And of course we've got, again, you can see that it's quite, in case you missed it earlier in the video, you get these stamps on the top there. Really nice looking cards. Some thought has gone into these. There we go. And we've got the information about Flurry on the back S14. So we'll get this one sleeved up and then we'll go ahead and get these in the binder. There's quite a lot to do. <laughs> so there we go. The cards are all in the binders. It turns out we had 21 packets open just then. So I guess one of the packets from the booster boxes slipped into uh, the other bag of loose booster packs. But there we go. We still haven't got a full set though. We got 13, I believe, duplicates plus the three. So that's 16 duplicates out of two booster boxes. Um, but the, the, the bind is looking really cool. We only need card five from the first page. Um, but you can see here, we've got quite a lot that we need. Uh, four on that one, two on that one. And on the last page there, we just need one more card. So we need eight in total. So hopefully we'll get eight from the final booster box. We may as well jump into it right now. Third and final booster box. Okay, we do have 20. So that is, by the time we've opened these, that will be 60 card or 60 booster packs across three booster boxes. Hopefully we get a full set, but let's see. Let's get these opened up and then we'll pull out all the cards. By the way, if you, oops, if you wanted a closer look at these booster packs, you can see these are, of course, fully licensed by Nintendo. If we have a look on the back here, it does have the official Nintendo license product there and just some more information about the, how, how the cards can be used. And I think that might even be a checklist there, potentially, showing 21 uh, villagers. I think that is. That's a villager checklist. And it shows some of the types of cards and then the letter cards there. So just to give you a little bit more information there, I forgot to show that at the start before we open them all up. But we're nearly there now. Six more packets to go, I think. Six or seven packs left to open. Last one. This is the last. Should we keep one sealed? No, let's just open it up. There we go. 20 open booster packs. Right. Let's dive in. I really hope the noise of the booster packs isn't too overwhelming. Okay, this is going to test our memory. So we've got... Is that Francine? Or is that Chrissy? Number four. I th Ooh! That could be the one we need. I think that's Chrissy, isn't it? Yes. So that is the first one we need from the first page of the binder. Pretty sure that's Chrissy. And we have Chevra. Hopefully I'm saying your name correctly. If anyone watches my Let's Play channel, you'll know I'm forever pronouncing their names wrong. But that's a new card. Oh, I have totally forgot to show the backs of the cards. But there we go. There's Chrissy, number four, and number 17, Chevra. Pretty sure they're both new. So out of eight cards that we need... We've gotten two already, so six more to go. And we've got Peanut. Peanut has her own card as well, as featuring in one of the, uh, in fact, it's on the top of the duplicate pile right here. There we go, Peanut featuring in two cards as well. Interesting. So there we go, that's definitely a new card with the cherry blossom trees on there. Haven't noticed cherry blossom trees before. Awesome, and the back of Peanut there, number 17, uh, sorry, 19. So three down, 17 to go. And we've got Apollo again. And we have another new one. So it did take three booster boxes so far to start getting some of the other cards we needed. This is the other Happy Home Designer card. Happy Home Designer? <laughs> the Happy Home Paradise. I hope I didn't say that last time. Happy Home Paradise card here. We've got Lottie and the other news characters there with Nico's boat, which is so cool. Wardle looking absolutely awesome. And of course, we've got the Happy Home Paradise pattern around the edge there, just on the dock at the Happy Home Paradise 
Island. Really nice card. And of course, the Happy Home Paradise logo. And on the back, we have another... Wow, we've got the, the patterns again from the loading screen and stuff like that on another piece of stationery. Look how cool. I don't know if you can see. I can't get it to focus. The How cool the string looks. It almost looks real. There we go, number 31. So that's definitely a new one we'll need. So I think so far we've gotten four out of the eight that we need for a full collection. Moving on, no time to waste. More candy. And we have Fang again. So we're definitely seeing triple cards now, I think. We've definitely had Fang at least twice. Oh, we've got Raymond. And he came with peach and a leaf candy. Raymond outside of the museum there. Nice to see the museum on a trading card. I think that's probably a first. Oh no, that's probably a lie. There's probably one out there somewhere, but that's definitely a first in recent years of seeing the museum on a trading card. And Raymond looking absolutely cool as well. And the back there, some information. Number S12, nice to add Raymond to the collection. We might just do it everyone. We might complete this set in three booster boxes. Oh, that one came out nice and easy. I think, are we still missing one of these cards, aren't we? This is the summer card. Spring, summer, autumn. No, I think we have got all the cards, actually. Another cool piece of stationery there. Right, we've got Marshall, definitely a duplicate. We've got... I'm always getting these ones mixed up. That's got to be Francine, hasn't it? With the black polka dot dress there. I think that's Francine, number three. Yeah, that's definitely Francine. We've got them both now anyway, the two sisters. Get that nice and sleeved. Okay, we've got another winter one. Some of these cards are definitely rarer than others because we've got the winter one like three times, maybe even more, and we're still missing some cards. So, there's definitely, depending on how they pack these booster boxes, because two of these booster boxes were sealed. Oh, we've got Rosie. Looking super cute. Rosie's a new one. I don't think we've had Rosie. I've bent the corner of the card though. No. There we go. This. Oh, it's not focusing. This is what I get for opening the packets too quickly. Just a little bend there. Not a big deal. We can bend it back actually. That's okay. So this is, if it will focus. There we go. S13. So that is definitely a new card. Rosie looking super cute. And we've got, as always, the information on the back of the card. So I think... Is that five or six of the cards that we need now? So I think we I think we still need two more. Here we go, Shino. Yes, we're getting new cards finally. I can't believe it's taken three booster boxes. That is absolutely crazy. Why won't this focus all of a sudden? S11 there, but there we go. Really good um, card here, Shino. Got some oranges. Well, I don't know what's going on with the trees. They're definitely kind of just randomly placed. They are not on cliffs or anything, um, but still a beautiful card. So we'll get that sleeved. I feel like we need multiple camera angles just to get everything in the frame there. Right, this is going really well. I'm just shocked it took 60 cards, 60 packs of cards to get 32. Um, oh. I've pulled the candy out and left the, left the uh, card in. Oh, we've got Sasha. We haven't had Sasha yet, have we? Oh no, I bent the card again. See, this is what I was talking about. You have to be super careful opening them like a packet of crisps. There we go, Sasha. I, that might be the last card we need. Number, I don't think we've opened Sasha. Number five. Oh, maybe we did have Francine at the, uh, Chrissy at the start. I think Sasha is the one we needed from the first page, actually. Once again, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Vault X for sending out some goodies for me to then pass on to you. And we've got Flurry again, the hamster. There we go. Flurry is a really nice card. I don't know if anyone likes Animal Crossing cards. Hopefully you do. But I think it's really cool to celebrate these cards because these are the latest New Horizons cards. There we go. Another Happy Home Paradise card. That is a duplicate. So that's a really nice duplicate. I feel like that is rarer than some of the villager cards there. Four to go. This has been the longest video ever and we've got oh this is a new one this is probably the last new one we needed 
I don't remember seeing this. The DAL airplane with the villagers. Another promo image from the early Animal Crossing New Horizons days. Orville and Wilbur. My mind went completely blank there. Orville and Wilbur there on the card looking absolutely awesome. And this will probably be a little bit of information about Dodo Airlines and their DAL plane there. Super cool. That is definitely a card that we need. I imagine that might even be the last card for the collection. Oh, no way. We just pulled it again straight after we just pulled it. That is random. That shows how random it is. Most of these companies, especially Nintendo, they do put them in booster boxes in such a way to make certain cards rarer than others. I don't know if they do it with gummy cards because technically this is Bandai just licensing from Nintendo. But I imagine there are cards that are rarer based on the pools today. We've got another one here. Um, but there we go, another crafting bench. But we're down to the last pack, pack 60. So this has been a long video. I've been recording for over an hour already. Hopefully <laughs> you've enjoyed it. If you made it to this far in the video, thank you so much. Please leave a like and let me know what you think the guess will be for this one. I'm pretty sure we've got a full set, which is really, really awesome. If I've been counting in my head correctly, which we all know my memory is not the best, so it could be wrong. What's the last card gonna be? It is Poppy. So that is a card that we've had three times, I believe, at least. There we go. So that just confirms that some cards are, of course, rarer than others. Poppy being a common card, I think some of the villagers actually will be far more common than, for instance, ones like this. Uh, so these are definitely the harder ones to get. Probably the hardest to get are 32 is this 32? Yeah, 31 and 32. The new Happy Home Paradise ones, I imagine, are the hardest to get. But there we go. So that is another lot of cards open. And we can throw this on the floor. This is what it's looking like. This is all the packs we've opened and all the candy. So maybe I'll send some candy to the winners as well. But now it's time to get these in the binder. And hopefully we'll complete the set of Animal Crossing gummy collector's cards. So there we go, they're all in the binder. I think we did, we'll double check as we look through, but we did complete the set just down to the last card, which is crazy. We have something like um, 12 or 13 duplicates there, but as you can see, how beautiful does this look? The first page there, all the way down to stitches, Goldie down to stitches. And I just noticed they're actually in species order. So we've got the dog, bunnies, wolf, um, bear cubs, and on to the next page, of course, we've got deers and everything. So they're all in nice order, which is good. And that's the second and third page there. So I can't believe three booster boxes it took, but we did actually complete it. And these are the special letter cards. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, I've just included a booster pack. I always like to keep a booster pack just because I think it's nice to remember what the artwork for the booster packs were like. But there we go, so it gives you an idea of what the collection looks like. We are just gonna wrap the video up now by putting all of these duplicates in a nice zipped binder. The zip binders are super cool. They keep your cards extra, extra safe there. So we'll get that out, get these in the binder, and we'll be back. So here we have the second binder. This is a pink zipped binder. It's really, really awesome binder. We still have the paper sheets inside. I'm gonna keep this binder super new because this is what's going to everybody in the giveaway. I am going to source the other cards so you will receive an entire set, don't worry. But these are the duplicates that we got from opening three booster boxes. We got 20 duplicates and across the three pages, this is what it looks like. There's still plenty of cards to get, but I will get the rest of these cards for the giveaway there. But we do have eight triple duplicates, so, or swaps, whatever you want to call them. So out of 60 cards, we got one complete set. So three booster boxes got us one complete set, 20 cards for another set, and then eight duplicates. So these, I guess, at least based on our pools, are the most common cards. So there we have it. This is an awesome binder. Thanks again to Vault X for supplying these um, items for the collection and for the giveaway. Thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure working with Voltex to bring something back to you. Head over to my Twitter or my X, which is at Mayamori. And in the next week or so, I just need time to source the rest of the cards. In the next week or so, I'll put a giveaway up for the pink zipped binder with a full collection of New Horizons and Happy Home Paradise gummy cards 
from Japan. So if that's something that interests you, be sure to head over to X. I'll put it up in the next few days or a week or so, um, so we can get the giveaway going and uh, the winner will receive a full collection of these cards in a awesome Vault X binder. But I hope you've enjoyed this rather unusual video compared to what we're used to seeing on this channel of opening up Animal Crossing trading cards. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to let me know. And a huge shout out to the Patreon and the channel members for help supporting this content. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.